in spirit of that, let's go back to permission. Yeah, and let's do that. Let's talk about the project there. So permission.io was originally a um, website where you could click on an ad and watch a video, and then you would um, receive ask ASK tokens. Right. Um, recently, um, noticed, I noticed a shift towards a marketplace format. Correct. Is there a reason why you went from the ads to the marketplace? Sure, absolutely. Uh, online advertising is an $80 billion a year business. Um, it was a great place for us to start the idea the testing of the idea that Facebook is a waste of brand or, or business's money. You're spending all of this massive amounts of money to reach people based on abusing their personal data and they're not really converting for you. So the, the original idea of permission at the time which wasn't permission then, but that was always the idea behind our company is, is building relationships between people who want to sell or share information and people who may want to consume it should be based on permission. Um, was that why spend that money on Facebook or promoting things on Twitter or, or on Google ads when you could pay your, reward your consumer directly? What we discovered, um, and, and what we kind of knew very early on is that people who are interested in cryptocurrency are interested in accumulating coins or tokens that may or may not one day appreciate in value. They were not engaging with these brands, which by the way, some of these brands were super excited about the idea of reaching out to their potential consumers directly, rewarding them with the idea of why pay Facebook, I'll pay my consumers, they'll become more loyal because I value them. Um, advertising is a great, was a great beta test for us to clarify what we want to reward, what behavior these brands want to influence, and obviously that's conversions, um, and how we could best create an ecosystem that right now doesn't exist. So the idea of airdropping and, and tokenizing your attention and data is, is, is new, not new. There's a whole ecosystem um, in advertising and marketing around this idea. What is new, what doesn't exist in the crypto space and what I became super passionate and what Permission has become super passionate about is created a crypto use case that is easy and completes the entire cycle of being able to get cryptocurrency without having to understand KYC or exchanges or put money out there, have a safe place that respects you to store that cryptocurrency, and then having something to do with that cryptocurrency on the exact same platform. There are some really amazing projects out there that are introducing people to crypto and making onboarding, making an on-ramp for crypto very easy, but not None of them puts all of this into one place. The, this earning crypto, this holding and storing crypto and the ability to spend it along with the ideology that you as a consumer are valuable, monetarily valuable to brands, any kind of brand. Podcasters are a brand, you know, Taco Bell is a brand. Content is becoming um, the way we tell stories has changed. The way we reach consumers has changed so dramatically, but the way we do business on the internet hasn't changed in 25 years. It's just gotten louder and more intrusive. So we want to make it comfortable and familiar. The permission marketplace is a very familiar feeling experience. Go to a shop, search for something you want to buy, click on it and buy it. There's nothing unique about the experience itself. It's the relationship between you and the brand. It's the value of you to the brand saying, you came, you searched, you bought. I'm going to reward you directly instead of paying Facebook to reach you. So you'll come back. Um, and we think that's the way not just e-commerce, but any online relationship should be. Um, you know, one day you might want to reach candidates about a job and, and if they're highly prized, sought after candidates, perhaps you want to pay them, you know, to have access to their resumes. 
perhaps you as a job seeker might want to pay brands to get your resume in front of them. I mean, any online relationship, any, any exchange of value can be monetized and that monetization, that, that priority of relationships based on permission can now be tracked on the blockchain in a monetary way. Um, we think that, I mean, the future of the internet has to be different, better, safer, more comfortable, and more worth your time. So that's what permission is all about. Um, I like the idea of being able to um, do everything through one source that does the, the you, you interact with it, you earn ass tokens and then you can spend them on other things and it just keeps the ecosystem um, in and of, of itself. Right. Um, I think the, that's what crypto is missing right now. It's right. It's a single yeah. platform, a single on-ramp for people who are interested in crypto but are afraid to spend money, to sink money into it, don't want to go through KYC AML. I think we appeal across the board to – uh, crypto newbies, crypto interested, you know, and uh, crypto familiar who look as a, as an evangelist, and I am an evangelist for crypto. Um, what I want is something that makes crypto appeal outside of, of ICO token hunters, outside of developers. I want crypto to appeal to my mother, and I want it to be as easy as her using Amazon. Right. Right. And then that's a great point because if, if we never get it past the point of ICOs and uh, holding and, you know, going to the moon, it's just going to stay in its own little bubble. It right. needs to be in a way where the general public can use it. And it's similar to, um, well, like you were talking about with mines you don't need to be involved in their cryptocurrency aspect to use the platform. Correct. And you no. don't with, with our platform either. You could right. care less about ASK. Exactly. You could come search for things to shop and we'll never track you. We'll never share what you shopped for with any vendor and they'll never contact you outside. You don't even need an account to use permission.io. I mean, obviously you won't earn ASK. You don't get the wallet, but you can shop and buy on permission without ever creating an account. And that's what I think the, the the best part about it is that where you don't even unless you look into it you don't even know that this is a uh, crypto related uh, product right it, it's a it's a marketplace and you want to it, it's like a, it's like a, a more private version of ebay <laughs> right. absolutely right like we are you know our goal is to show the world that that the internet should be better it should be better um you know, there, there was a famous billboard uh, stuck outside of Google by a blockchain project uh, crossing out the don't be evil and making it can't be evil. Well, you know, that is true, especially of, of companies that commit to making the Internet a place that, that is valuable on an individual personalized basis again. Look, I'm an Amazon shopper. I was an Amazon early adopter. I jumped on Prime. I hate shopping in you know public stores and brick and mortar stores now. Um, Amazon to me was this incredible innovation and revelation and, and revolution really of e-commerce. But despite going on Amazon almost every day and adding things to my wish list or my cart that I know I'm gonna want or need later, Amazon's user experience is horrific right now. Horrible. You, are, you might as well be walking through Times Square. You are blasted with promoted products. You are given so many options thrown at you that you become distracted from the thing you went there. Amazon is now a time killer, a time suck, and not a convenience tool for me anymore. I, I wanna fix that. I mean, I, I just wanna fix that for everybody. Well, and you're right. I mean, you could spend hours on Amazon just going down the rabbit hole of, whatever product you're you're looking for you know right um, yeah their ux is terrible now yeah well i think they're trying to be everything for everybody right right well they've moved into advertising now right so on top of on top of that their movement to advertising is really destroying the small business sellers on amazon 
they don't have the money to compete with the promoted products that the larger brands and Amazon with its Amazon Basics brand does. Yeah. Right? Amazon is not an agnostic platform. They want money. And I get it. Brands should want they want money. That's what they exist for. But Amazon as a platform is not agnostic and permission very, very much is. If you want to reach consumers uh, ahead and above another brand for a, a product line, then you need to pay that consumer, right, exactly. not, the, not our platform.